TV impacting generations. As we are lifting our hands above our head, I want you to open your mouth and begin to tell him he's able. Because he's wonderful, he's the counselor, he's the prince of peace, he's the eternal rock of ages. Just lift up your hands as a sign of surrender. Begin to tell him he's able. He's the king of glory. He's the mighty God. He's the Lord of lords. He's the Lord of hosts. He's the lily of the valley. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He's the provider. He's the creator. He is the powder. He is the cornerstone. He is the I am that I am. He is the righteous charger. He's the protector. He is the shield. He is the merciful God. He is the gracious God. He is the faithful God. He is the consuming fire. He is the defender. He's the redeemer. He's the comforter. He is the instructor. He is the teacher. He's the invincible God. He's the hope of glory. He's the lion of Judah. He's the man of war. He's the lamp of God. He's the sustainer. He's the light of the world. He's the restorer. He's the silencer. He's a father to the fatherless. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the bread of life. He is the champion of champions. He is glorious in holiness. He is the ancient of days. The excellent God. The powerful God. The leader of leaders. The chief inventor. The compassionate God. The commander in chief of the heavenly host. He is the overseer. The master builder. The master planner. The voice of hope. The beautiful God. He's our game changer. He's our refuge. He's our fortress. He's our buckler. He's our banner. He's our strong tower. He's the unchanging changer. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. Oh, Rapakadesh Kalakraska. He's the miracle worker. He's the rock of ages. He's the merciful God. He's the God that answers prayer. He's the palm of Gilead. Father, take preeminence in this place. Take lordship and kingship in this place. Father, to those that are here. To those that are watching us live from around the world, in North America, South America, Australia, Canada, all over the Middle East, Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, wherever you are watching us from in Africa, South Africa, Botswana, you are watching us in Zimbabwe, Angola, Mozambique, you are watching us in Zambia, Malawi, all over the East African community, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Congo, you are watching us in Nigeria, you are watching us in Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, wherever you are, Australia, all over Europe, UK, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, connect to collect, share this broadcast three times, I want you to know today is your day, somebody stretch your hands to the altar, today is your day, and the Lord spoke to me that these are the services that are crossing us over into the next half of the year. I want you to make a prophetic decree and declare the problems of the first half. They will not follow you into the second half. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I want you to make a prophetic decree that the problems of the first half. Media team, can I have Nahum 19 as we are standing? Now who won nine? The problems of the first half. Somebody lift your hand and make that decree. 
Somebody say, I declare. I declare. Come on, say, I declare. I declare. The problems of the first half. The problems of the first they half. They will not follow me into the next half. They will not follow me to the next Somebody half. Somebody say, affliction. Affliction. Will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. I want you to look at Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 9. I want to make some prophetic decrees and then we are going to proceed. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 9. And it says, What do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction. Yes, sir. I said affliction. Affliction. Will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. I stand on the altar of ECC. Yes. I stand on the altar of testimony. Ah. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of my voice. Prophesy. And even to those that are watching us from around the world. Yeah. The problems of the first half. Ah. They will not follow us into the second half. Amen. As we are crossing over yes. from the first half into the second half. Mm. I prophesy as an oracle. Prophesy. We are crossing over Amen. from problems to prosperity. Yes. From sickness to hell. Yes. Ah, I said we are crossing over. We are crossing from over. From trials to triumph. Yes. We are crossing over. We are crossing from over. From mockery to victory. Mm. From insults to resorts, yes. from devastation to restoration, ah. can I prophesy? prophesy? I declare the next half of this year, yes, sir. God will give you a miracle that is tangible. Amen. God will give you a blessing that cannot be denied. Yes. I want you to lift your hand, begin to speak over the next half. Open your mouth and make that prophetic decree. You're watching us from around the world on Facebook, on YouTube, in your home, in your car, in your office. Begin to declare affliction will not rise a second time. Open your mouth and declare it. Rapa Kadesh Kalagras, Rapa Yagadesh, Separagadesh, Liparagados. Somebody speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands to the altar. In this first half of the year, I know there are mixture of events and stories. Some were hurt, some were wounded, some were knocked down, some went through sickness, some buried their loved ones, my God. Some, some, their hearts were broken. But I'm hearing the Lord say, affliction will not rise a second time. Rabba Kadesh. Yes. This service is a service the Lord said today, Sunday and Monday. It is a service that is crossing us over into the next half. And the Lord is telling me to tell you, affliction will not rise a second time. Amen. I don't know what you went through in the first half, but right now as we are getting ready to usher in the next half of the year, yes. I declare we separate ourselves from everything that was holding us back. Yes. Everything that held you back in your life is broken. Amen. Whatever the enemy meant for evil, yes. we declare God is turning it for your good. Amen. You are moving from battle to victory. Victory. I hear every pain yes. and everything that held you back in this first half. I hear the Lord is separating you. Yes. Somebody say, I separate myself. I separate myself. Somebody say, it will not follow me. It will not, not follow me. Lift your hands say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate my family. I separate my from family. From every setback. From every setback. From every limitation. From every limitation. That held me back in the first half. That held me back in Somebody the first half. Somebody say, I declare freedom. I declare freedom. I I declare liberty. I declare liberty. I separate myself. I separate myself. From every pain. 
Father. From every pain. From every affliction. From every affliction. Somebody say we separate ourselves. We separate from ourselves. From every distraction. From every distraction. From every defeat. From every defeat. Somebody say affliction. Affliction. Will not rise a second time. Will not rise a second time. I receive. In this service, may you be separated from defeat. Amen. May you be separated from resistance. Amen. May you be separated from every hindrance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let Paragadesh Kalagras. I receive. In the next half of this year. Yes. We bring ourselves under the covering of the blood. Amen. I want somebody to declare. I bring my family under the covering of the blood of Jesus. I bring my family under the Open covering your mouth of the and blood begin of to Jesus. cover your family, your children, your husband, your wife. Open your mouth. The blood of Jesus is our safety. The blood of Jesus is our covering. Even as we get ready for the next half, the blood of Jesus is our protection and preservation. In the name of Jesus, cover me. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. In the name cover of me. Jesus. Cover my family under the blood yes. begin to speak the covering of the blood of Jesus call your family by name speak the covering of the blood of Jesus we are going to enter the next half of this year under the covering of the most high under the shelter of the most high under the wings of the most high we are protected against every disease against every virus against every infection against every attack cover your people Lord cover your church Lord under the blood of Jesus be our covering Lord be our shield oh Lord Rapaya Gadeshka Ziparagadoskala in the remaining half of this year I declare you will abound Amen. I said you will abound I, will I want to give you one minute begin to speak what you want to see into manifestation prophetically in the remaining half of this year sound engineer just power these monitors Rapaya begin to declare the things you want to see sons and daughters of this ministry fearless generation ah oh, global partners begin to declare begin to declare begin to declare begin to declare from your mouth to god's ears i declare the lord will favor the work of your hands in the next half of this year your labor will produce results i declare we shall abound somebody receive supernatural intelligence i receive receive the creative touch i receive receive the craftsman's touch i receive receive the anointing of the lord's favor i receive may the lord set his eyes on you i declare he will select you out of many oh, in the remaining half of this year yes, so the so lord so. will power on you yes. the treasures of the deep yes. i declare you will find silver yes. you will find gold yes. your gift will bring you to prominence yes. you will be recognized yes. you will be lifted up the lord the lord will lift you up yes. you will be celebrated yes. the lord will set a table of honor before you yes. he will shine his light on you yes. I declare over your life fruitfulness and increase yes. i said fruitfulness and increase I receive. fruitfulness and increase I receive. receive in the name of jesus i, I said receive in the name of jesus i, receive. I said receive in the name of jesus I, receive. I, receive. I want you to say bye bye to the problems you don't want to see in the remaining half of this year Love begin to declare by faith the problems that you don't want to see again any demonic power that fought you it will not cross over with you into the next half begin to declare by faith what you want to see in your life i nullify every evil judgment i nullify every evil judgment against our lives against our families i declare in the remaining half of this year every blessing that has your name on it yes. it will not pass you by yeah. you will take 
possession. I receive. I speak as an oracle. Yes, yes, so you the remaining half of this year, oh, yes. you will have a better job. Amen. You will receive a high-paying permanent job. I receive. You will have your own business. I, I receive. I said you will conceive. Yes. yes. In the remaining half of this year, Prophesy. I said you will get married. I receive. I said you will get married. I receive. You will meet your God-ordained wife or husband. Amen. I decree and declare. Yes, sir. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. Doors will be open. Amen. I say it in the remaining half of this year. Oh, yes. You will be free from sickness. Yes. You will be free from curses. Yes. You will be free from generational cycle. Yes. I hear from the prophetic realm. Yes. You are liberated. Yes. You will be fruitful. Yes. You will multiply. Yes. You will have abundance. Yes. You will operate from a place of overflow. Yes. A place of more than enough. I, I prophesy over your life. Prophesy. And I say it will come to pass. Yes. I say it will come to pass. Yes. I release the blessing over the remaining half. Yes. I release favor over the remaining half. Yes. I declare glory and manifestation in the remaining half. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Every mountain of pain. Yes. Every mountain of frustration. Michael. Every mountain of calamity. Oh. Yes. Somebody say catch fire. Catch fire. I say it's a catch fire. Catch fire. I say it's a catch fire. Catch fire. I speak health to you. I, I speak life to you and your family. I, I speak strength to you. I, I speak wisdom to you. I, I speak increase on every side. I In the remaining half of this year, oh, yes. I declare, I hear the Lord say. Mm. Everything you will ask heaven tonight, oh, Jesus. heaven will answer. Amen. I said heaven will answer. Heaven will answer. I said heaven will answer. Amen. Heaven will answer. Amen. Stretch your hands as I make a conclusion. Rapakados of this prophetic decree that God laid in my heart. I declare, may the Lord bless you. Amen. In the remaining half of this year, yes. may the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord lift his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. I declare you will experience supernatural strength, I receive. wisdom and increase. I receive. Le pragados kamagadesh. I receive. pragados kamagadesh. I receive. I declare you will grow. Amen. You will expand. Amen. You will fulfill the assignment of God on your life. Amen. You will fulfill the assignment of your destiny. Amen. May everything that concerns you be blessed. Amen. Le paragadeshka la graska. I receive. Le paragadoska zegadesh. Si paragadoska. Le paragadeshka. Anything that the enemy has done against you, it will not work. Yes. I want us to say three times. Are you ready? Yes, sir. We are going to say three times. Affliction will not rise a second time. Are you ready? Yes. Lift up your hands. I want heavens to hear it. Let the devil's witness, let heaven hear you. Somebody declare one. Affliction will not rise a second time. Are you ready? Yes. I said, ask your neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, look at your neighbor, tell them congratulations. Congratulations. You are next half. Your next half will be better than your first half. Will be better than your first half. Tell your neighbor you will fly on the wings of divine favor. You will fly on the wings of divine favor. Now lift up your hands. One. Affliction, affliction will, will not, not rise a second, a second time. Two. Affliction, affliction will not rise a second time. time. Three. Affliction, affliction will not rise a second time. If you believe it, begin to tell God, thank you, Father. We give you praise. Give God praise. You may be seated for one minute. I want you to hold the prophetic offering. That is an offering of declaration that affliction will not rise a second time. Everybody in this auditorium, I want you to hold a prophetic offering of saying affliction will not rise a second time. The problems of the first half, they will not follow me in the second half. And if you're here, you're giving via your bank card, there's a kingdom hostess standing here with the PDQ machine. If you're giving via your mobile device, check the ministry and personal line on the screens and also check the ministry pay bill number. I want you to give a prophetic offering of the next half. 
and even to the sons and daughters globally all the partners that are watching us from around the world i want you to connect to the altar of ecc the altar of testimony i want you prophetically to give a seed for the next half it is a crossover seed i see you crossing over from limitations my god i see you crossing over from devastation to restoration i want you to hold that prophetic seed you can give on paypal anywhere in the world to those in america you can give on cash up to those in america australia canada europe you can also give on web via mpesa to those in south africa you can give on the fnb details check out the details on your screen they are also pinned on the caption of this live broadcast and they are pinned also on the comment section so go and click on the link and so and even today and this weekend i'm having a crossover one-on-one -on -one with the sons and daughters globally and i'm challenging you to give an offering of partnership to the fearless generation of a 60 dollar seed so whatever wherever you are 21 of you i will be speaking to you one on one via video call our sons and daughters globally this weekend is going to be a crossover weekend and uh, i am having a special one on one via video call so so and also contact the ministry whatsapp number on your screen i want you to touch the altar if you have that seed with you and uh, if you have that seed with you just touch the altar touch the altar to those that are giving online something is happening in the realm of the spirit something uh, is happening in the realm of the spirit uh, worship him and sound engineer the monitors thank you jesus signs and wonders in Jesus mighty name Mark chapter 4 Mark chapter 4 verse 35 and, and verse 39 amen verse 35 on the same day when evening had come he said to them let us cross over to the other side now when they had left the multitude they took him along in the boat as he was and other little boats were also with him and a great windstorm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow and they woke him up and they awoke him and said to him, uh, and they said to him, teacher, you do not care that we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the sea. Uh, he rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Lift up your hand as you're seated. 
Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, I'm crossing over. I'm crossing over. I want you to make that prophetic decree. Begin to declare, just as you're seated. Declare, I am crossing over. I'm crossing over. I don't know who God sent me here for, but I want you to declare it over your life. Rabba Kadesh Kalagraska. Somebody declare, I am crossing over. I am crossing over. In this service, I'm not standing as a teacher or as a preacher. I stand on the mantle of a prophet to declare in the next half those that are going through storms we are crossing over i declare no storm will be able to stop you in the remaining half of this year amen you will drive through the storms of life amen. in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit shout amen amen now watch this the bible says when evening had come jesus said to them let's cross over to the other side somebody here even before i go i go deeper and even before i take you where god is uh, is directing me to take you somebody here is in an evening season you know somebody watching me everything seems dark in your life uh, but i heard the lord say as we get into the next half of this year your story is about to change amen. i said your story is about to change amen some of you everything seems dark in your career in your business, everything seems dark. In your finances, everything seems dark. It is like you are in an evening season in your life. Because life, uh, in life there are different seasons. The Bible says when evening had come, Jesus said to them, let's cross over to the other side. I always love this because life has two sides. Look at your neighbor, tell them, life has two sides. Life has two sides. Ah, come on, talk to another one, tell them life has two sides. Life has two sides. And never conclude on one side when another side is available. That is why I always say our conditions are not our conclusion. Oh, yes. Look at your neighbor, tell them, don't judge me by my present condition. Don't judge me by my present condition. So life has two sides. And Jesus said to the disciples, let's cross over to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. I'm here to announce to somebody prophetically, as we are getting ready to usher in the next half of the year, we are crossing over to the other side. Amen. I don't know how this side of the first half has been. Please talk to somebody, ask them, how was your first half? By the way, how was your first half? Hallelujah. If it was good, may it get better. Amen. Hey. If it was full of challenges and storms, yes. we declare that wilderness season is coming to an end. Amen. Somebody say, my wilderness season is coming to an end. My, my wilderness, wilderness season, season is, is coming, coming to, an to an end. Now watch this. So Jesus says to the disciples, let's cross over to the other side. I'm here to tell somebody, don't conclude your life based on one side of the story. There is another side. And in this next half, I am seeing God assuring you to the second, to the other side. I receive it. Hey! Yeah. If you are here and you are, or you are watching and you are jobless, in the next half, receive a high paying permanent job. I receive it. If you are here and you are single and you are believing God for marital settlement. Prophesy. I pray that in the next half, in the name of Jesus, go and meet that God ordained spouse. Amen. Right? If you are believing God for business, in the next half, receive business capital in the name of Jesus. I Receive. Now watch this in verse 37. The Bible says a great windstorm arose. You know, storms demonstrate the faithfulness of God. The storms are not there to destroy you. They are there to display the power of God. Ah, listen to me, a great windstorm arose. And some of you here and some that are watching, you are in the middle of a storm. And some of you, you are about to go into a storm. And listen to me, the fact that you are a Christian, the fact that you are a believer, the fact that you have the anointing does not exempt you from a storm. Because it is not there to destroy you. It is there to display the power of God. Preaching prophet. Somebody said the storm is not there to destroy me. The storm is not there to destroy me. It is there to display the power of God. It is there to display the power of God. Sit down for one minute. Hey, ask your neighbor, are you in a storm? Are you in a storm? Have you gone through the storms of life? Tell your neighbor, I see you crossing over. I see you crossing over. You will get over to the other side. Amen. Your season has come to move to the other side. I receive. And in this service, I want to lead you to a new place. Hey! 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 hey. hey. No demonic.
demonic altar will be able to stop you. Amen. Now watch this. And they awoke him now in the midst of the storm. And they say to him, teacher, you do not care that we are perishing. Because they looked around at the storm and they concluded they were perishing and they were going to die. It looked like it was over. And there are people that are here and others that are watching that are saying oracle. You know, you feel like God doesn't care. You know, it looks like, uh, you know, you have come to the end of yourself. But I want you to know your end is the beginning of God. Where people put a full stop, that is where God begins a new sentence. Amen. There are people that are feeling, you know, doesn't he care? Now that I lost my job, doesn't he care? Now that I'm sick in my body, I want you to know that storm is not, to, is not going to kill you. It is there to display and reveal the power of God. In actual sense, it is a setup for a lifter. Look at your neighbor, tell them, don't give up yet. Don't, don't give, give up, up yet. yet. Even when you can't trust him, trust him. His silence is not his absence. Tell your neighbor, even when you cannot trust him. Even when you cannot trust, trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Because he is God in the mountains. He is God in the valleys. He is God in season. And he is God out of season. And listen to me, your situation will respond to the voice of God. Amen. And I'm seeing a turnaround and a miracle that is coming into the life of somebody. I now watch this. And the Bible says, and then Jesus arose and rebuked the wind and said, and said, peace, be still. And there was calm. I want to prophesy verse 39 over your life. Yes. I want to prophesy verse 39 over your life. Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. I said, can I prophesy? Prophesy. I prophesy verse 39 over your life. Oh, yes. I declare he will arise and rebuke the storm. Amen. He will arise and rebuke sickness. Amen. He will arise and rebuke poverty. Amen. He will arise and rebuke stagnation. Amen. Somebody say, I Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Somebody say, Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. He will arise and rebuke rejection. Amen. He will arise and rebuke limitation. Amen. He will arise and rebuke satanic restriction. Amen. Somebody say, Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. Somebody say, Peace be still. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we are standing up now, and it says, and the wind ceased and there was no wind. I hear the Lord say, your storm is coming to an end. Amen. So many of you have gone through different storms in your life, in your marriage, in your family, in your business, in your career, in your calling, in your ministry. But I hear the Lord say, it is coming to an end. I don't know who has been praying and crying to God, but I hear the battle is over. The battle is over. The battle is over. The battle is over. The Lord says, I have heard your prayers. I have seen your tears. The battle is over. The battle is over. Battle is over. Amen. And I hear the Lord say, as Jesus spoke to the sea, God is speaking. God is speaking to your situation. Amen. God is speaking to your finances. Amen. God is speaking to your health. Amen. God is speaking to your destiny helpers. Amen. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, speak to my finances. Speak to, to my, my finances. finances. Lord, Lord, speak to my destiny helpers. Speak to my destiny helpers. And watch this and then we pray. And there was a great calm. And there was a great calm. I hear the Lord say, no more sleepless nights. Amen. No more worries in your life. No more. You will live in peace. Nothing missing and nothing broken. Yes. I prophesy in the remaining half of this year. Prophesy. A great calm in your family. I receive. A great calm in your marriage. I receive. A great calm in your business. I receive. Ah, I decree and declare. Yes. God will turn your demotion to promotion. Amen. God will turn your, your, your disappointment to appointment. Amen. He will move you from grass to grace. Amen. He will give you a test testimony beyond your test. Amen. God is about uh, to give you peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive. receive peace in your heart. I receive. receive peace in your mind. I receive. receive peace in your spirit. I receive. Every spirit of anxiety. Yes. I declare Holy Ghost. Fire. fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. fire. Lift your hands above your head. I want you for 30 seconds. Before we go into the feet anointing service. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord. 
to calm your storm. You know the storm that you are going through. so that we go straight into that uh, final uh, section of this service. Look at your neighbor, tell them feet anointing service. Feet anointing service. And we have the servants of God that will also be declaring over the remaining half of the year. To those that are watching us at home, that are watching us in various countries around the world, begin to prepare your oil. That oil is a point of contact for God to touch you. As we pray for the oil here, we will also be speaking over your oil wherever you are. Distance is not a barrier. Sit for one minute, please, if you are a tither, 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 you need an envelope. Our kingdom hostess are bringing an envelope right where you are. If you are here and you are a tither, if you are here and you are a tither, our kingdom hostess are bringing you an envelope right where you are. If you are giving via your mobile device, please check the screens for the ministry and PESA line or the pay bill number. If you are giving via your bank cards, there is a kingdom hostess here to the sons and daughters globally, to the ECC global family, fearless generation, partners of this ministry. All the details have been given on your screen. They are pinned on the comment section and on the caption of this live broadcast. Remember, you can 
give on PayPal, on Cash App. You can give on Wave. The ministry banking details are on the screen. I want you to prepare. Your tithe is the connection to the protection of your finances. Your tithe is what brings judgment to the enemy of your prosperity. And one thing I always say, may we never forget God when we get what we prayed for. Many of us, we pray for jobs, businesses, financial breakthroughs. But as soon as we get the miracle, we forget God when we get what we prayed for. But may we never forget God when we get what we prayed for. And our tithe is the connection to the protection of our finances. Tithe is the foundation of prosperity. I want every tither here. You are here. You are a tither. Your tithe attracts God's overflowing blessing into your life. Listen to me. If you don't tithe, your things will be tied. Tell your neighbor this year, be a tither. Salamia mtu mwambi habari tajiri. Hey, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Ah, you are the next millionaire. You, you are, are the, the next, next billionaire. billionaire. Hallelujah. Amen. So your tithe is a weapon. Your tithe gives God the authorization to rebuke the devourer. Devourers are eaters of finances. God says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. I want you to come if you're here, you are a tither, you are a partner. Partners are people that have the agenda of God in their finances. You're watching us, you're saying, Oracle, I want to partner with the work of God. The gospel is uh, free, but the means of taking it is expensive. The kingdom of God is not founded on money, but it needs money to expand. So you are there, you have the agenda of God in your finances. We have people in the world that sponsor beauty pageants, athletics, music concerts, politicians, politicians political parties but i'm praying that in my generation god will raise men and women that will finance the gospel may heaven honor all the partners of this ministry worship him tithers if you're here you are a tither please make your way to the altar and even those that are giving from across the nations of the world as the mother of this altar I bless you with the blessings of Abel that your sacrifice will find favor with God I bless you with the blessing of Noah that you and your family shall be delivered from calamities and destruction I bless you with the blessings of Abraham that your seed will become great in the land and you will be great and your name shall be great I bless you with the blessings of Sarah that you shall bear fruit in your old age. I bless you with the blessings of Isaac, that when you sow in the day of famine, you will receive a hundredfold, and the Lord will make room for you. I bless you with the blessing of Jacob, that the Lord will change your name and transfer the wealth of the wicked to you. I bless you with the blessing of Joseph, that you shall be remembered and rewarded. I bless you with the blessing of Moses, that you will be a deliverer to your people. I bless you with the blessing of David that you will subdue all your enemies before you. You will bring down your Goliath and every giant that stands against you to threaten you shall fall before you. I bless you with the blessing of Elijah that the Lord will answer you by fire and he will vindicate your cause. I bless you with the blessing of Daniel that God will shut every mouth of every lion that rises and roars against you. I bless you with the blessing of Esther that you will sit upon the throne with kings. I bless you with the blessing of Mary the mother of Jesus that you shall be blessed and highly 
favored. I bless you with the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blessing of salvation, healing, deliverance. The blessing of wisdom, might, power, glory. A resurrection in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and become business owners. As you're giving right now on PayPal, on Cash App, on Wave, on FNB. Whichever avenue you're using to give and to connect to this altar. Distance is not a barrier. I declare in the name of Jesus. You are to the 10th generation you are blessed. You will never beg for bread. In the name of Jesus. Your grandchildren will never be homeless. Go and prosper. Go and succeed. In the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Receive the tithers blessing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Impacting generations.